Welcome everybody back to Hard West 2, episode 5 I think it is. So we took a new quest, the previous episode, from the uh, Blackfish village here. The Emissary. Look for the native Emissary at a military camp. So let's get to it. It seems to be over here. Do we have to wander in this snow? I think I spotted something in that direction. Oh, and this is unknown territory. Interesting. It's freezing out here. That is a large map right now. Interesting. I think the game kind of opens up as we go. Keller's farm. Are we there yet? All right, let's take a pit stop. See what we can find in here. Maybe buy with buy some things. To call it a farm would be an overstatement. A bunch of barely holding buildings and broken fences. Whomever runs this place isn't doing a great job. But that Keller guy isn't bad at all. He was eager to trade at least. All right. Let's talk to him. Hello, how can I help you folks? Let's chat with him first. Let's see if he knows stuff. How's life in Oregon, Mr. Keller? Oh, it's hard. Hard life. Well, it is a hard west. <laughs> Here in the north, everything wants to kill you all the time. Nature, natives, beasts. But the people are the worst, Mr. Carter. Mark my words. People are the worst. All right. What can we trade? Do we have any quest items first things first? No, we don't. We have some interesting consumables though here. Right, so this is new, for example, Tatanka liver. It gives me bloodlust, which means 25% bonus to bullseye chance. I'm not very fond of these kinds of upgrades, so I'm gonna forego. We're gonna get the healing items. Bandages is always a good idea. Let's get both of them. We also have another healing item here, plus 4 HP. I'm definitely taking the beans though. Uh, how much do these cost? 24, that is a lot of money. All right, let's take all of them and then we can heal. Oh shoot, hold on, there's a special weapon, Gunstone Club. That is a melee weapon, does three damage, also causes enemies, look at the bottom there, to be dazed. Now that is very interesting, character cannot use weapons and their field of view shrinks for one round. Oh, I could do some damage with that, like this is like a get out of jail card. I could use it with a melee character, you know, to end the round and uh, hit the boss maybe so the boss cannot fire us and thus dwindle down his energy. All right, I'm taking this. This could be a game changer actually. So give me this. Man, we only have four bucks now. <laughs> All right, I guess it is what it is. All right, nothing more to do. Let me quickly equip this in the inventory. It's obviously going to go to. Mr. Laughing Deer, instead of this, which does nothing, you're gonna get a better weapon. And we can give this to whom? Who doesn't carry a weapon? I could give this to Jim Carter, I guess. Sure. Why not? Oh, and we reached the refugees' trucks. Interesting. This is where the refugees split into two groups. Half of them pressed on to Zeke's trading post. The other half turned back to Kala Kala. Keep your eyes open. We need to find more tracks of the lost ones. All right, I guess we're switching to the other quest then. We happened to uh to locate the lost refugees side quest on our way. Now uh, we need to find more of these yeah. campfires though. Yeah. So let's, let's explore a bit. Oh, what is this old silver mine? Man, there is this game is packed with things to explore. Interesting. It was an old shallow mine. Whatever silver people found here must have barely paid for the cost of the operation. Search the mine and get a pickaxe. Why not? The mine proved to be a waste of time. Apart from an old pickaxe, it had nothing of value. Alright, it's good enough for me. A lucky find. Let's keep on searching. I can't feel my extremities. Not that I normally do. Alright, the refugees' tracks continue. Looks like we found some of the lost refugees. Corpses of the elderly and children. Oh no. We were too late. They must have lost their way in a blizzard. Let's hope at least some of them survived somewhere in the wild. We have to keep looking. And keep looking, we did. There oh, it is. The wind will be our death. The next clue. There, remnants of a campfire. Probably belong to our missing refugees. The tracks lead toward that cave over there. But what is that among the ash? Human femur, all charred and with teeth marks all over it. Interesting. So I'm guessing the hidden cave, this is where the mission is taking place. 
It was more a deep crevice than an actual cave. We called, but no one answered. So we inspected the area. If any of the lost refugees ventured here, they would have surely fallen down into it, tripping on the ice-covered rocks. Only a very skilled climber would be able to scale down there without a rope. Oh, and this is where we needed Deer to be an ally or have a rope, which we don't have, so I guess we're gonna have to leave. Maybe we'll come back here later. For now, let's go on the other side objective here. Remember, we are looking for a native emissary at a military camp. A group of soldiers set up a camp nearby. I remember the war good enough to recognize negligence when I see it. The camp was dirty, poor, and the number of soldiers too low to maintain it. We approach... Like the army life, eh, boys? The soldiers were wary as they saw us approach, but seemed to quickly understand that in their ship it would be unwise to antagonize us. In the end they let us in, as long as two of them accompanied us with rifles at the ready. Apparently they answered to a Lieutenant Drake. Also they mentioned a quartermaster who could use our help regarding his dwindling supplies. I guess we're getting another side quest. Alright, so let's see. Uh, visit the, uh, let's visit the quartermaster first. When we entered the quartermaster's tent, we were welcomed by empty shelves and crates full of spoiled potatoes. Well, I wish we could trade, but we only have four bucks, so I guess, yeah, that and the surgeon are out of the question. Let's ask about the dwindling supplies, though. The quartermaster was running out of supplies for the soldiers and would reward us for bringing him back any provisions. Alright. Oh, we have to find them first, though. Okay, of course we do. <laughs> Alright, let's visit the commander. Lieutenant Drake was a tall, serious, and somewhat melancholic man, but he had a spark of intelligence in his weary eyes. A rare thing among the brass. He offered us some thin coffee in his tent. Alright. Ask him what they are doing here. Why are you here, Lieutenant? I can see the winter is bad for your people. We are hunting a dangerous group of natives. They call themselves Shadow Dancers or something of that ilk. But when this cursed winter kept getting worse, we were forced to entrench ourselves here. The worst thing is that we lost most of our horses in those damn blizzards. We were hoping to buy at least a dozen from the local rancher, but cannot spare even one man to go and settle the deal. Do this for me, and I will make it worth your while. Alright, I'll go shoot the rancher. Something tells me it's not gonna be as easy as just walking in, but <laughs> we will try it anyway. Alright, let's ask about the native village emissary. A group of friendly natives from the south sent one of their own to parlay with you. Have you seen anyone like that? We caught one if that's what you're asking. He was observing our camp. You do understand our situation, we must be careful. Every native scene might be a shadow dance spy. You can go see him in the makeshift prison, my men roughed him up, but he is still in one piece. We'll let him go once we learn about the shadow dance's camp location. Alright then, let's visit the jail to complete this side quest. Talk with the prisoner. The emissary was just a teen boy. He sat in a flimsy cage guarded by two bored soldiers, his hands and feet tied. At least they fed the boy from time to time. Klalish spoke to the boy, and as soon as she mentioned his home, the boy's face brightened. He swore he knew nothing of the shadow dance. I see two options here, Jin. Either we free him ourselves using some trick, or we look for that shadow dancer's camp ourselves and trade the information for his life. Interesting, we could leave. Oh, but Flynn being an ally, we can actually do this right here and now. Well, if nothing else, I'm glad this alliance is finally paying dividends. Alright, free the prisoner. Remember that time I busted you out of the Mornwood prison, Jin? We'll do it the same way tonight. In and out before they notice anything. I wish I could see Lieutenant Drake's face next morning when his men reported to him that his valuable prisoner was gone, with a lone, bound and gagged soldier in his place. It would be best to avoid the camp for some time. Not like we had anything to do with this baffling escape, of course. <laughs> yes, of course we didn't. The boy was free and we were ready to return to Lalanet's village to report the happy ending. Alright, let's not uh, dwindle too much, let's just leave, I guess. So let us quickly go back and tell the elders that we freed the emissary. 
All right, and we are almost here. Let's go to Lalanet and deliver the boy to the natives. I approached the elders with Klalish as my translator. Tell the chieftain that you freed the emissary and we get a job on club. Okay, interesting. What does this do? Oh, man. <laughs> it does crippled damage. That is much better than the thing that I bought. All right. I guess we have two things now we can use. Interesting. We managed to free the boy. He's safe and sound and should come home soon. You have my word. He is grateful. Now he and the elders will need to decide how to proceed. He wants us to take this artifact as a reward. You should feel honored. And thus we get the club. Interesting. Right, let's leave. Who are we going to give this to now? Let's see. You know, let's just upgrade um, Jin Carter's melee weapon. Now he has options. Now he can uh, also cripple his enemies. Interesting. We could use this to cripple somebody and hide like behind a tree or something that he cannot see us. Thus, he cannot move and get to us. And in any case, many interesting tactics that we can do. What should we do next? Let's see if maybe we can do a proper mission. Let's do this go to Kala Kala, which obviously with the guns indicates there is a mission there. <laughs> oh, hold on though, I found a lumber mill on our path. Let's see what that is about. A seemingly dead and frozen lumber mill stood upon a nearby hill. We didn't notice any movement and we investigate. We entered the main building and came upon a place of a massacre. I've seen some grisly sights during the war, but this, this was inhuman. Whole crew eviscerated. Whole, except one man. He was still alive, but wounded and half frozen. And treat the survivor. Now right, we're getting also a wonderful tonic maybe out of this. Let's see. We used our own windling supplies to stabilize him and warm him up. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I was a goner by Jove. It was terrifying. We heard a howl, an inhuman howl. And then they were inside. Huge beasts, all claws and teeth. Just look at what they've done to my friends. I was hoping he was mad. The idea of such beasts prowling the snow-covered landscape chilled me worse than the wind. At least the grateful lad pointed us to some drugs hidden in the office. We left him assured he will be able to return to his family by himself. We lost a bandage and a whiskey and we gained a wonderful tonic, which gives us four hit points. Okay. Also patching up the Carter heals for HP at the beginning of the following turns. Oh wow, so if we get somebody severely damaged, he can use that and get uh, up to speed again, I guess. Alright, now though, let's keep going for oh, our objective, really it should be this. close. And there it is, Kala Kala. Let's do a mission proper. A shabby town in the northern valleys of Oregon used to be a haven for lumberjacks. We approach. As we approached, I felt a cold shiver down my spine. This place felt cursed. We had a strong reason to enter this cursed town. Flynn had to do her thing with the glowing tracks left by the ghost train. According to the refugees, the ghost train passed right through the town. Be prepared for all kinds of bullshit. What the hell does Mammon think he's doing with that ghost train? Running around, waking the dead? Ain't we earned our rest? Something tells me we're gonna be fighting some undead in this case. In any case, let's start the combat. Now I'm gonna use the same crew. I don't really care for Lazarus or Bill. So we're gonna go with the uh, with the party we're familiar with. Let's start. Seems like the train passed through all right. And here come the dead ones. Those revenants. They're nothing more than armed carriers. Risen by the passage of the train. Look, this must be where the survivors barricaded themselves. We need to get to them before those revenants. Just in case, we could also secure some resources. Let's go. That is a lot of enemies. That is a lot of enemies and they also have a lot of health. I don't see many fivers. Oh, and we are starting right next to them. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see how we can deal with the uh, with the ones that are closest to us, I guess. Then we'll start dealing with the other ones down there. Uh, and before we get going, these guys, it says the regenerates HP and is resistant to most touches. So we should finish them off 
as quickly as possible, like leave nobody bleeding. If we attack somebody, he should die in that round. Uh, let's see how I'm gonna start this. These guys are in a prime way to do this. Oh wow, this is far reaching, Jesus Christ. All right, let's get Jim Carter behind cover, full cover, preferably. And then use this. All right, now both of these are ready to be, uh, to be killed by somebody, probably laughing deer. Let's deal with this guy as well. Flynn should take a shot to soften him up, then Deer can finish him off. I see two pistol shots being enough for this. I Laughing Deer has a hundred percent, Flynn has a hundred. Works for me. So we're gonna do it the pistol way. Ready. Like All right, now always. Deer. I'm gonna get him as close as I can. Switch to his to your uh, to your handgun. I don't want him to lose a hundred percent. Man, he can go pretty far without losing a hundred percent. Interesting. He can go all the way here. All right, let's do it. He can still a hundred percent this guy with a pistol. Take him out. You go get him, dear. Gain his bravado now. These guys are easy. So let's see. Can we do something more creative? Like maybe use this skill to get somebody else. I could not finish this one uh, let me see if i can find so i could finish this one interesting choice let's see if this actually works because there is a plan forming in my mind i hit him get my points back try and go close to him hit him get all my points back and then return to these guys and finish them off so let's see if we can get like five guys in the round your blood is mine Right, he's gone now this guy let me get uh okay i'm gonna need the pistol though because he has five health yeah uh, so i'm gonna go as close as i can right so that the journey back is not that uh you know that tough kill him all right now we could even actually hit somebody else i could finish these guys with pistol shots 75. Hold on, let's think about this a bit. Alright, so I need to also put Klalish in cover before the round ends, so I'm not gonna use this shotgun, which would have been nice, man, 9 damage. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use the next round probably. I am going to shoot this guy to soften him up, I have 100% against him. I won't miss. Alright, now, Laughing Deer is as close as you can here. Oh, wow. Hit this guy twice. to get all your points back <laughs> excellent and now well now we cannot do much because we don't have any allies left we're gonna just kill these two guys oh man i need three okay cool all right we can do this still it kind of takes all my action points so i'm kind of lucky this actually worked out in any case we're gonna kill these two guys Die! with one hit where do we want to be? Uh, let's kill him. And then we're just gonna go duck back into cover, I guess, because we cannot do much. Yeah, I cannot. Uh, I need three sword shots to kill anybody, and I only have two available. So, let's put you boys back into cover and hunker down. We do have one cover available here. Who has the less hit points? Klalish has the less hit points, so you are gonna go. No, you know what? You're gonna go there, even though it's half cover. Because you have the shotgun and I do not want you to move. I want you to have, uh, use all your uh, all your might in the next round. And I'm gonna hide you here. Also hunger down, why not? Let's see how this plays out. Head. Now she's gonna get I shot at a lot, head. probably. Oh wow, can you blank shot her? Thank God, no. We also got movement in the back. No pain. Lots of tenor guys. No. Breath. Is anybody gonna shoot? Give yep, he took a shot. Breath. He's oh he's Give looking for elevation to take a shot. Pain. Interesting choice. I just want to finally rest. And he's looking for cover more than anything. Oh he can shoot you. That was a remember. That was a weird choice. Let. The guy with the elevation should have shot. 
I think. Alright, good cover there. <laughs> Alright, and we managed to get out of this round unscathed. Excellent. Let's see what we're gonna do for this one. Alright, so my preliminary thoughts is obviously kill this guy, then maybe shadow swap with this one, because he is the nastiest of the bunch, also has 15 health. Bring him here. And, uh, you know, use Klalish for this guy, use Jin Carter for the other one, and have Laughing Deer finish them off, kinda. Ah, uh, we'll see. Uh, in any case, first things first, Klalish needs to take point with this guy. Let's use the shotgun. Unleash all your might. Here it comes. In my throat. One and only. And actually, he only has six. So I could finish him off with Carter and regain all his points back, right? 50% though. Alright, we're gonna have to move in closer, get uh, Carter into a bit of harm's way. Alright, I guess no pain, no glory. Let's do it. Let's go close, finish him off. He can run back to safety if need be, he has the, uh, the points. Also, now he does 7 damage because he gets the buff from his skill points. We can do a lot of things now. Let's see, should we shadow swap? I think we definitely should. I mean, look at uh, Flynn, she's right next to Laughing Deer. Whoever uh, gets brought here, I can three-shot him with Deer. I'm definitely yeah. doing it. It is a good thing to have Flynn and uh, Laughing Deer together. All right, let's uh, switch with this guy. Also as an added bonus, Flynn now is inside a fortified building with elevation bonuses. Nice. Nothing to scoff at. Alright, so. Laughing Deer could get all his shots off. Or I could leave him with two. Let's see how we're gonna play this. We definitely get seven damage. So we need seven damage from Deer. We need two attacks. So I'm guessing, yeah, let's do it like this. You will. Hit him twice. You will pay. Oh, wow. Two points. I can actually kill him right here and there with, uh, with Laughing Deer. Wow, that worked out nicely. Get all the point back. See, told you, three attacks. Two and man, now we have even more options. Jesus Christ, this is going well. <laughs> Alright, so maybe let's abuse the trick we learned. Let's yeah. see. I want to get this guy. I'm gonna show you what I have in mind. 75. Can I get 100? Yes, if I go here, I can get 100. Will do. So let's do that. Seven damage and full cover. Easy one. Alright, now we can probably take him out with Laughing Deer. He should have enough. He has two movements plus this. Let's kill him. Oh, and this was a mistake. This was a mistake. I should have brought Laughing Deer here. Then we, I would have had three moves and finished this guy as well. Hold on, we're gonna reload this. Alright, so now instead of running in front of him, I'm gonna ride on the back side of him and have two enemies in my view. Now we get all our points back by killing him. Go get him dear. And we also have enough to finish off this guy. Ah! Oh wow, double damage as well, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even need the final shot. Alright, now with three points, can we do some more damage? I don't think we have enough. Yeah, we cannot finish these guys unless we get lucky and like uh, do double damage. I could do the same trick now. Or I could go and soften this guy up. Let's see how we're gonna play this. Actually, these guys do regenerate health, so I should not just soften them up. That doesn't work. What I am gonna do, though, I have an idea. I'm gonna bring Deer right next to Flynn. And the next time, we're gonna Shadow Swap with somebody else, right? Ready Flynn now. should be able to see somebody from the window. Smart. Right, she is gonna hunger down, of course, because people are gonna be shooting at her. The same goes with Laughing Deer. Right, let's see what the enemies do. Rain We're gonna get shot a few times a bit here. Arrows. Thankfully, we have you the height will. advantage. Oh, and a fiver guy. You will pay. We can use him. Axe. Oh, this is gonna be nice. I could easily... I'm hit. Oh, ouch, Jesus Christ. That hurt. Like, if I can get close to this guy... Ah, hold on, hold on. Let's formulate the strategy. 
All right, so I don't know if this is gonna work out exactly as I want it. I'm gonna shadow swap actually with the easy guy. But bear with me, I think this is gonna work out nicely because I'm gonna be into cover and I'm gonna have 100% uh, on this guy next. Shadow swap with him first. Right now, obviously, we can take care of this guy easily. It works for me. I'm gonna move a bit closer to the door just to gain a few movement, uh, you know. You are wise to fear me. A bit of a movement advantage. Now we're gonna use Flynn, soften this guy up. Five damage. And now we're gonna finish him off with Deer, obviously. Now he has five damage, though we cannot use the melee weapon. We're gonna have to go pistol. Get as close as we can. All right, then finish him off. All right, now we have one enemy remaining in the area. Can we actually reach him with this weapon? Because this cripples him. If I can reach him with that, that means he can fire his weapon in the next round. I don't think we can, but yeah, not enough action points. All right, so we're just gonna have to find another way to deal with this guy. It seems we're kind of unlucky because nobody can get a shot on him. I could go down with Jin Carter and use his uh, What's the play? Shadow Barrage skill to get him 6 damage. Then anybody who can shot him would have done it. But we do not have a shot, damn it. That is the bad thing. We cannot see him with anybody. Unless Laughing Deer can see him, that is. Let's see. Oh! Oh, shoot, 100%. Hold on, hold on, we can deal with him. All right, go down there. Hawa. Shoot him with your pistol. That's gonna do five damage, right? All right, now we can finish him off. Ready. Very interesting. All right, uh, Klalish doesn't have enough to get a sound on him, but Jin Carter, as I said, we're gonna use one movement. Let's get him into half cover as well. And we're gonna use his skill. Shoot through walls, yes. And he is done. Nice. All right, now let's uh, see how we can position our guys best. So let's find, let's see where the enemy is going to be coming from. Right there, they're going to exit through the door. So this is going to be the field of battle. Oh man, he might take some, some shots. In any case, let's move her to full cover. That is not full cover, right? Yeah, let's move her over there. And we're going to fight a spot with Jin. Jin has a lot of movement points. Ready when you I gave him a lot of playing cards, Whoa, so hold your he's going to have to find a good spot. Oh, he can even go there and have visual on them right away. All right, let's do, do that. And that is going to end my route. Let's see what the enemy does. Ah, they didn't even move. That is interesting. All right, so let's see. How many full cover spots do we have? There's one here, one there. We could go close to the door. I'm gonna position Klalish because she has that uh, that very powerful rifle. I'm gonna position her right next to the door. Nobody can shoot at her unless they open the door. That's why I don't bring her close to the window. Pulled towards the spiritual energy. It's All right, kind of who else? What remains after the Jim Carter has the most movements. He should probably go there. Oh. Oh, there is a back entrance here. Oh, that is devious. Sir, you're gonna go over there all the way. All right, all right. Yes, we're gonna make full use of all your... Uh, your movement ability here. All right, and then we're gonna bring the other two. All right, let's bring you here, maybe. And I'm gonna bring Laughing Deer as close as I can to the door, maybe on the other side of Klalish. So he will be able to enter and hopefully cause some damage. Right over there. Hunger down since you have a point to spare and let's see what the enemy does. Now they're starting to move, okay cool. Is anybody gonna open the door I wonder, let's see. Anybody gonna be brave enough? Oh, breaking through the window. Okay, cool. Yes, why use a door when there is a window, I say. <laughs> Nobody exiting through the door. Alright, some smart AI, I guess. Walk. Again. Alright, he uses some cover against Jen. 
Oh, and a fiver guy. Okay, we could use him. Another fiver guy. Well, they are close to each other, so it doesn't really make uh, any difference, I guess. Escape. Ah. Oh, oh, come on. That was full cover, man. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Oh yes, he's gonna open the door though. Yes, now we'll get a shot with Klalish. Nice. Once more. Oh wow, we're in the middle of things. I... Like really in the middle of things. Ouch. Again. I don't know if this was a good choice. Jesus Christ, look at all this mayhem around me. <laughs> Alright, so pre preliminary thoughts. I could use Jin Carter's skill. Let's see how many we can get. Can I get all four of them? Oh, Jesus Christ, that is powerful. <laughs> Alright, let's get all four of them. Oh, we do have a 15 guy there, though. Hold on, is that a good choice? Hold on, I'm gonna reload and get this 15 guy instead. Alright, so let's try this again, but this time... I'm gonna make sure I hit this guy as well. Can I hit all of them? No, I cannot. Alright, that is okay. I need to soften up the 15 Let's guy, though. That is kind of crucial. And now, now we can go in with Laughing Deer and wreck some havoc. Even Klalish can get a shot. Who can she target? Can she even target? Yes, she can even target and kill this guy. Alright, interesting. And she will get all her shots back. Alright, let's do this with Klalish. All right. See, that's why I positioned her right next to the door. Interesting. She can actually kind of kill the entire army here. <laughs> if she wants to. Or I could soften this guy. We'll see how this goes. What should our next move be? So we have a mayhem of a, a slew of guys here that we need to take care of. And they're all at 10. I need to somehow get Laughing Deer between them. So he can one shoot one guy. Uh, that means I need to soften one up. I'm gonna soften up the one who's at 100% chance for me. That is the most prudent of... Oh, hold on. Flynn. She has the shotgun, the buckshot, that does four damage to everybody. Could I use that as well if I bring Flynn here? One movement. Use the buckshot. We haven't used that a lot. And she can get all of them. Alright, cool. Let's do that. Alright, now Laughing Deer should have a field day. I'm gonna start with this guy. Because he's the furthest away. Uh, I could go in between them as well if I want to. Now I'm get, gonna get in between them anyway, doesn't matter. Alright, use your uh, two melee attacks, please. Now we're gonna get between these two guys. Or could I kill... No, that doesn't work. Alright, let's move in between them two. We can obviously kill both of them. Oh wow, even in one shot because we are that cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's finish off this guy. Oh, in one shot even, nice. <laughs> Alright, now we need to be careful. I can one shoot this guy. Using it as a stepping stone to get to these guys. And then kill this guy. We can finish this with Klalish. And from this guy I could maybe use his run and gun skill to get as many hit points on this guy as I can. Problem being, we're not going to be able to finish this guy off. Can Klalish even see him? Oh, hold on. Can she? Yes. Well, we could use some luck and 100% him. Alright, cool. This is gonna work, Just I think. Point. Let's start things with... Who can we want to shoot this guy? Run, let's not use that. Let's see how close can I get to these guys. I'm gonna go right beside him, maybe. Finish him off. Alright, now I need to flank these two guys with only one movement. Hold on, I would like to flank both of them if I can. Yes, excellent. Let's go in between them, maybe. I could even use my melee weapon. Like, I have two moves. I don't need to uh, do anything else. Oh, and one shot him as well. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, now, how about... Can I shoot you? I wonder melee you from here 
It's only gonna be a 50% shot, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna get close to you, done though. Done. Yeah, maybe let's use the pistol this time. Die! Alright, Die. and the murder Sudoku continues. This guy we're not gonna get. It's gonna be a Klaalish's job, I guess. We can get to him, though, and finish him off. And I'm gonna get as close as I can to this guy, maybe? We'll see. I'm gonna do a save here, because movement is gonna play a role. Alright, so let's get to, uh... Hold on. First things first. Klaalish, you can like finish this guy, right? Doesn't mean I can't end it. Oh, she cannot. Hold on, hold on. He's a tenor, so we need to think this through. I might have... I can shoot this guy from here. Oh shoot, that is a predicament. Well, I guess this guy will have to survive then because I don't want to waste uh, Klalish's uh, all action points without her reloading. I really need her to shoot this guy because I do not have confidence in Laughing Deer finishing him off. Alright, let's go close to him. Uh, okay, over there. All right, use your uh, your other your other gun. Finish him off. All right, now now hold on. My master plan. Can I hit him? Seven points of damage. That's gonna leave him with eight, which means Klalish can finish him off. Yes, let's do that. Remember. All right, nice. I oh, you even have one point spare I to uh, to hide, I guess. Remember. All right, Klalish, hold on. Let I'm me first ready. see if she can do it. Uh, 25, unless I use my luck, and I am going to use my luck now. We need it. Nothing can stop me. All right, now you have enough movements to even use a bandage. Or you know what? Can we? No, we cannot. Unfortunately not. Do you have a gun? He's a melee guy. All right, uh, Klalish, use your bandage. Or actually, use your whiskey. Why not? It heals more points. You're going to be a bit drunk. Doesn't matter. And you could also use your bandage, by the way. Should we use both of the healing items? Sure, why not? All right, and hunker down. And I'm going to use... Uh, yeah, you hunker down as well. Is he going to reach you, I wonder? Should I get him two advantage points to be able to shoot at this guy? Let's actually use... Uh, I don't know. He's gonna be able to get to me. Alright, get over there. I'm gonna wager this guy cannot reach you. Also, Laughing Deer. Uh, get me to a uh, safe position, I guess, over here. Alright, now the enemies. Can you reach us? Let's see. And hit us, that is. Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> This guy's got a lot of movement points. Alright, so this is the round where we finish you off though. So first things first, let's finish this guy off with three hits from Laughing Deer. You hit me once, I hit you thrice. <laughs> Be back my breath. I am guided. And now, let's see if I can do something devious. You know how I like the combination of Flynn and Laughing Deer. Can I bring this guy? He's out of view, damn it. What if I move here? Now he's in view. Okay, cool. Use that. Shadow swap him. Hopefully there's nobody else back there. Is there anybody back there? That would have been a bad move. <laughs> uh, we still have one move to spare, so she could... Uh, yeah, she could just go there, I guess, and hide. And now he's right next to Laughing Deer. Hold on, let's uh, smack the living bejesus out of him as well. This one, you finally rest. Down he goes. All right. So now we're gonna set up for the next way, the next battle, which is going to be probably through there. Yes, we need to set up close to this gate. So let's move once again in steps. We're gonna bring our two uh, best gunners close to the door. Those being Klalish and Jin. Right, so Jin, you have no enough way. movements, I hope, to get there. Yes, thank you. Of course, break the window, because then <laughs> the one right next to it wasn't broken already. In any case, and now Laughing Deer. 
You, buddy, assume position. There is an open door here. Kind of makes me nervous. Uh, you assume position maybe right next to Jin, unless there's full cover here, which there isn't. Yeah, I need you to be in full cover. Go over there. Hunger down, and let's see if anybody advances towards us. And nobody does, so let's keep moving. Oh, before we go any further, though, hold on, we forgot about the supplies. Come on. <laughs> go get them, Flynn. What do we get? Uh, secure. Oh, that, this is the side objective. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, and since you're here, we might as well position you there, I guess, for a bit. And uh, let's advance the other ones, not too much. Oh, there is some sneaky cover there. This guy, oh, he has height advantage. Now, hold on, we could grab this uh, the, this uh, this cover right here. Clarice is going to be able to shoot a lot of bad guys as they come through here, I bet. Many stories about us will be told around campfires. Right, and now Jin. Jin has 100% luck right now. Well, almost, but he's full. So he should get, yes, 100% on these guys. These are just fivers. Like, we can kill both of them, hopefully, in the same round. If I go there and use my luck... I could go even further. I mean, sure, why not? It's not like we're gonna get shot. Uh, let's go as far as we can with one movement. Then we will obviously have to use the luck to get to this guy. Get in the upper hand. Alright, excellent. And now, can we get this guy as well? Well, I could use my luck again. Man, his luck is never gonna run out. He, <laughs> he gains luck whenever he shoots somebody. All right, I guess let's go a step closer. Finish this guy off as well. Man, since I gave the Jin the, the flush, not the flush, the straight, he's become like a great Eyes character. I see, he still has a lot of luck left. Man, this guy. <laughs> uh, that Revenant, he is a melee guy. Shouldn't be worried too much. He probably cannot get to me. Let's just get in cover, I guess, and wait for the next round, maybe. All right, so I'm gonna advance Laughing Deer not too close to the gate because I fully expect this guy to run up to him and smack him in the face. So I'm gonna give him some breathing room. Let me, let's get him here. Man, these guys can run a lot on distance, though. These guys, maybe this spot isn't even safe. What's the play? We'll see in Jin Carter. Where can we hide you? I need full cover. We could go there, I guess. Yeah, sure, everybody's gonna be in the open, why not? And break the window, of course. <laughs> Alright, head down. Let's do this. Oh, there's a guy there, can he shoot me? Oh, Jesus. I didn't account for this guy. Oh, come on, she's into full cover. <laughs> Why does she keep getting shot? Please don't have enough movements. Jesus, does he have enough movements to hit this guy though? No. Alright, alright. We can somehow deal with this, I hope. Now, obviously, this scenario would be nice. But Klalish is in the way, so we cannot do that. Instead, let's actually try and make Flynn useful. We need 100% of one of these guys. No luck involved, please. Just use your height advantage. You can actually see both of them there. And one of them there. Alright, let's give her some cover. We're gonna shoot this guy that she can see over there. With the pistol, please. R5 damage. That should be enough. Got it. Can we get to the killing already? Because now Jim Carter, and he also has a melee weapon, so I'm gonna be extra devious here. I'm gonna bring him there. Hold on. How much damage? 100% for the melee weapon, you can see. Excellent. I'm gonna bring him here so he can touch both of these guys. Here I go. Now kill this guy with the pistol. Showtime. And since I'm already kind of touching this guy, I can use 7 damage plus 4 damage, and he's gonna be toast. Uh, 7, switch weapon, finish him off. Let's dance. Oh man, I've made Jim Carter into a beast. I love it. 
All right, now let's see how do we deal with these two guys. There's also one guy hiding there, but these guys have guns. They both need to go in this round. All right, so I could shoot at this guy with using Jin's luck, then use the remaining point to hide. I guess I could even go up close and smack him once. Then you could go up close and smack him twice. That would be a weird plan though and would leave me exposed. Yeah, let's not do that. I'm gonna just shoot him with my luck. Showtime. All right, excellent. Now nothing more you can do. Let's just run and hide Will in do. here, I guess. Laughing dear, you obviously are gonna finish this guy off. Smack him in the face, please. Man, I could even wreck some havoc with this skill. Oh wow, could kill this guy. Will I have enough points to to run back though? <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna quickly save. Let's see if this actually works and we can get a free kill. Like if I kill this guy. Oh man, there's a lot of a lot of people in there. Can you cover this much ground? You can actually. Ah, almost. Oh, we need some uh, we need some good cover. Well, you know what? I cannot hide him in here because he's not gonna have the benefit of full cover. It's just half cover. So instead, I'm gonna move him there, and that guy is not gonna be able to see him because he's so close to the wall. Right. I'll have an extra point to make him hunker down. Put his set down. That is, and we'll use that. All right, you do that. Klalish, you could stay there, but you need definitely to hunker your your head down. You could also use your luck to shoot this guy, but if I use her luck, then this guy will get a free so shot at me. If my luck runs out, in case you do not remember, then whoever shoots at me gets me. So I'm gonna reserve my luck. I need it. I'm gonna just hunker down. So full cover and hunkering down. Hopefully this guy cannot get me. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna try anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Another pistol guy. Oh yes, prime position to get, get shot by Klalish. Nice, love it. A melee guy, get as close as you can so that I can reach you. Another melee guy and another melee guy. Oh, he looks tough though. Oh, Blast Brothers, Jesus Christ. Hopefully the name doesn't imply he has a grenade or something. In any case, this is the situation. How do we deal with this? My main problem is I only have like this full cover here. So maybe I can swap players and use it two times. Let's see. If I use my pistol, soften this guy up so that the laughing deer can swoop in, obviously. Let's see if that works. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Nice. <laughs> Cool shot, Klalish. Excellent. All right, now we only have one guy with a pistol, actually. We could go defensive. Or we could go crazy with Flynn. Hold on. Crazy idea here. How about I swap positions with the uh, Gunman Revenant? I will need to go... Oh, wow, quite exposed. I'm gonna bring him here, where both Klalish and Carter can uh, shoot at him at 100%. It should be an easy prey for them after that. All right, so, uh, can I see him from here? Yes, I can. Oh man, hopefully Flynn doesn't get too shot up there. I mean, melee guys would have to race to her. This guy might be annoying, we'll see. However, I might be able to get this guy out of commission as well. All right, so now Jim like Carter, you. you can do six damage, and Klalish can shoot him. Can she shoot this guy as well? No, you know what? We're going to do it the opposite way, because he lost one health. Right? He's at nine health. Klalish can one shoot this guy. All right? Hold on. Switch weapons. A hundred percent. Bye bye. If I must. Oh man, Klalish! What a warrior this round. <laughs> Alright, uh, now this guy, I could soften him up if I go closer and then finish him off with Laughing Deer, maybe. I cannot, however, get a good shot on this guy. Yeah, we're gonna have to use our luck, I think. We might as well use it from here and give him 9 damage. Alright, now cool. 
I could use deer to run up to him and kill him, finish him off. Unfortunately, I don't have this skill already. Otherwise, we could have killed another one. Because now, yeah, we have three points. But unless I can actually hit somebody, uh, like, extra hard. Man, should we take the chance? Hold on, I must save. Let's see if this works out. If we, like, get double damage on one of these guys. Yeah, that could be epic. We could use our gun. No, that wouldn't, uh, wouldn't hold. Uh, let's go close to Are this guy. Alright, right, we weren't lucky Great. enough. So now we're gonna have to use the remaining uh, this to move, maybe out of harm's way. Oh, you know what? Hold on, I'm gonna risk it. Let's see if we can get dam. We can get uh, this to trigger the double damage. You will. No, we cannot. I'm gonna have to reload. You will pay. All right, so we cannot do this. Next best thing, I could place him here, right next to Flynn. You know how I love this combination. He could even hunker down. Uh, this can work out, and next time when this guy comes out, yes, this could work. Done and done. We could like swap places with him. Hunker down. And let's see how this goes. You still have movements left. I should probably bring you somewhere closer, shouldn't I? Well, you can come there and even hunker down. Should we bring everybody there? Man, that could be a massacre. Alright, well, let's this. do it. <laughs> let's live on a prayer, I guess. <laughs> now, you're gonna hunker down as well, obviously. And let's see what this risky move... If it pays out or not. This is a long distance to cover, come on. You can do that. I... For you as well. Mark. They are I seeking cover, okay, cool. You will. Oh, two blast brothers? Well, of course, pay. they are brothers. Oh man, do they have dynamites? Because I don't like this uh, this idea. Or can we shadow swap with anybody? We can shadow swap with this guy. Oh wow, this uh, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a very interesting round. Or oh, you know what? Hold on, scratch that. Let's leave these guys hanging. I'm gonna retreat back here because I have the buckshot that I forgot. Look at these guys lining up. I could go here with Flynn. Easy. Let's see if this works out. Now use the buckshot. Hurt both of these guys. I'll try. Now they're down at six, and Jim Carter, wouldn't you know it, can deal just that damage. All right, if you go there, can you 100% both of them? Yes, you can. All right, cool, let's do that. We're gonna delay the boss fight for a round, I guess. Might not kill this guy first, I guess, or uh, should I leave one for deer? Well, let's kill just one of them. Kill the Showtime. shortest one. Going in. Guns and what can I actually do with deer? He can easily come down here and smack this guy twice. Will do. God damn it, that was the wrong move. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I wanted, but you know what? It, uh, it's gonna play out anyway because we can kill it like this. And we'll use the remaining points for deer to hide. Hide somewhere these guys cannot get to you. I hide over there. God damn it, I keep pressing the wrong... <laughs> damn it, can we select deer? Oh, I miss clicking all the time. I'm gonna hide him, uh... If this guy has explosives... I better hide him like there. I not want any dynamites in my face. Everybody's gonna keep their head down. I wanna see what these guys do. If they decide to advance or if they just stay there. Clownish? They cannot possibly get to you. Just keep your head down. I've never let fate deal with right, you. Carter, you too, I guess. Let's see what they do. All right. Oh, we failed the uh, secondary scenario, I guess. In any case, they are staying there. That is interesting. Hold on. How do we approach this now? All right. So let's go back to my original plan. I say 
we bring both of them out here. I need a visual on one of them, though. Can I get a visual? Switch to the pistol so we know if we have a visual. Yeah, I cannot see them, unfortunately. This plan ain't gonna work. Unless if I go up here, maybe. Sure. Let's see, can I now get a visual? Yes, and now I can swap with them, right? Alright, let's see, who should we swap with? Where is the best cover for me? I don't see any cover whatsoever, man. <laughs> this is gonna be dangerous. But you know me, let's do it. See me shuffle. Alright, now Flynn can use the last remaining point to hide there or, you know what, outside the door. Leave it to let's me. go outside the door, please. Now we need to kill this guy, though, pronto. Obviously, you should have a 100% shot, right? Clalish. 100%. All right, take it. All right. Ready when you We are. should be able to finish him off with Leave Deer or in. Carter. Whomever we prefer. I might do it with Deer. Can you climb up there and hit him twice? Out of range. Oh, that is not good. Now, you know what? We're gonna be aggressive about this. We're gonna do it with Deer. We're gonna do it with Carter. His weapon does six damage anyway, so we can move twice even. Uh, how far can I go into the complex close to this guy while still maintaining a 100% chance at him? Ah, damn it. That would have been beautiful. Almost. Well, I could. You know what? I'm gonna take a chance. 75%. Hold on. Let's save. And let's see if that 75% translates into an actual shot. Go over there. No, not over there. Hold on. One movement. What am I talking about? Can you hit him from here? Okay, cool. Go there. Now shoot. Shoot at him. Easy money. Get in the upper hand. All right, and I can shoot this guy and hide. We could do the run and high tactic, like if I go 100% like this, I have a lot of luck to spend. 7 damage, that's not bad. That is not bad at all, let's take that shot. Alright, and then last movement, I'm gonna hide. Ah, uh, could I hide inside the building? That would not be a wise idea though, would it? Is this full cover? It's not really. Alright, let's bring him back out then, I guess. Let's play it safe. Yeah. And now, dear, where could I go with you? You have a lot of movements. I could hide you there. That is not full cover, though. Oh, you want? No, it doesn't matter. Take two moves, hunker down, and then I'm gonna be able to use this skill in the next round. If I survive the round, that is. <laughs> we don't know how powerful that guy is, though. If he has grenades or whatnot. Alright, head down. Let's see what happens. Wow, he healed six? Are you freaking kidding me? And he used a grenade. <laughs> Ready, like always. Scratch that, we are reloading. All right, we reloaded and maybe, maybe let's pull him back. Uh, you know what, all the way back, let's get him close to Flynn. So maybe she can shadow swap and, well, well you know my tactic. I will. Let's see what this guy does. He doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have eyes on anybody right now. Will he move or will he just remain there? Of course he heals, yes. Oh, he's taking the aggressive approach. I love it, yes. Come to me. Yeah. Oh, I think this is as good as over. Hold on. If I get uh, Carter close, I can shoot him through the window because I have this ability. Yeah, come on. This is over. Seven and now using Dreer's ability. Yeah. That the should be the end for me, of the game the I'm doing. for Mr. Blast, brother. <laughs> yes, indeed. You Excellent. And we are done. Well, what do you think? You'll be able to, I don't know, magically track this asshole? Told you so many times, Carter. This isn't magic. 
I seriously have no idea, Jin. I could feel the residue of Mammon's power here, but to do the same thing from miles away? You have to try. Just fucking... <sighs> Look, please, we, we have no one else. I'll do what I can. For now, let's just go. We can't stay here. <laughs> 